Okay, how the fuck do I get up there then? <sighs> um. Oh. Oh no, I have to jump up there somehow. Uh, Damn it. Oh, alright, I remember where I stopped now. Huh. So, so I was in this fucking room with uh, all these guards and shit, and there's locked doors on either side of the room. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if I can unlock these doors and have these people not give a fuck. And uh, so I say beforehand, I went for it, and they gave a fuck. <laughs> I was like, all right, hey, <laughs> better reload. I guess we'll just end. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I finally started playing Resident Evil 2. Man, there's some bullshit on that game, dude. Like, one of the things is, is, like, you shoot a zombie three times in its head and it falls down, it's not dead. Um, I'm, you gotta shoot it more. I'm pretty you know? sure or, they did or, an update for that game to fix that. But no, 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 it, it's just, it takes, it takes more damage than it originally did, you know, originally when they made it. Yeah. Listen, to this shit. So it gets even better, dude. You more fucked up. Okay, so that pit, then then you you can get you know your combat knife. Your combat combat knife wears down and breaks. Oh yeah, I remember people telling me about that. That is fucking so, mad dumb. So so I would shoot them three times in the head. You know, they'd fall down. I get over them. I start knifing them to death. Well, then my knife breaks, and you gotta go find another one. Which there's not too many of them around. Which, yeah, that just infuriates crap on me. But here's where it gets really fucking full of shit. Dude. I'm so fucking angry. And where where I, where I am now is I've gone underneath. I'm in like the parking lot and all that shit. Um, just that really at the beginning, not too far into it. Well, um, when you shoot one that's down and you have no knife, so you're like, okay, so I got to shoot him again because the the way lay there comatose, right? Yeah. So technically, you could run by them, but if you come back, and I've been having a really hard time running around them, dude. They've been doing this lunge grab on me, which is just full of crap, man. I mean, I mean, I understand it sometimes, but it's like sometimes, it's like, dude, there's no way, you know. But whatever. Okay. So when you shoot one in the head when he's laying down, and then when he's getting up, if you shoot him in the head, it does not do as much damage as if he's standing up. Damn. Yeah. Pretty angry about that. And then, also, even if you shoot in the head, if you don't have the, rec uh, the reticle all the way to its smallest bit, it doesn't do as much damage either. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'll still play it. I just don't think I'll enjoy it as much. Just because it's just it's a little dumb shit they're doing. It's Kind of annoying. Right. Yeah, I don't understand why that'd make your fucking knife break on you. That's like way dumb. Yeah. Basically, they're trying to make it hard, and they're like, you know, because cause you can move around and shit. We, we gotta somehow make it hard. And it's just like, you know, I don't know. I think it's a fucking reach. Yeah. But it looks really pretty. Some of the shit's a little bit new. It's kind of cool. Um, I haven't found that much that much new stuff. Um, I mean, some of the rooms and shit are different. Um, you kind of leave the police station, but you're going to have to go back to it. And so that's slightly different than original, you know, if I remember correctly. We're now mm -hmm. That's how I get up there. All right. All right. Cool. At least I think that's how I get up there. I yeah. might have fucked myself over. Oh, that sucks. Oh, come on! All right. That ain't as bad as I thought. What the fuck, man? Going to do a companion quest, and it's sending me into the first town where I, I fucked it up Killed real everybody. bad. 
Not quite everybody, but a good majority of them. Um, there was someone else I wanted to go turn in a quest fucking here after I fucked over the town and he attacked me and I failed that quest. <laughs> like, I'm here to give you stuff, but you want to attack me. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <sighs> but, uh, <clears throat> at least in this, though, when the fucking town people start fucking attacking and shit, after you yeah. kill so many, they stop and they run away. <laughs> huh. Hell of a job. Oh, this is getting to be frustrating, man. I hate their stupid jumps when they don't work right. Oh, don't move. Yeah. Phew. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Oh, no, 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 no. That was all me. <sighs> so, you know how Bethesda's real good about letting you change all your fucking buttons? Yeah. Apparently Obsidian does not feel the same way. <laughs> uh, did you know on uh, this you can? No, I actually like the buttons on that, so I didn't fuck with it. Yeah, I'm just saying that you can't. I was kind of surprised because I was, I was trying to find the emotes. And, um, Damn, yeah, nimble fingers, Captain. okay, um, Oh, come on. Oh, thank God he gave it to me. Alright, maybe where I'm going isn't in the town proper. Uh, that'd be awesome. Okay. Ah, fuck yeah. <laughs> See that new uh, add-on piece they're doing for um, the PlayStation controllers to play for competitive play? No. Okay, it attaches on the back from like the bottom, and what it does is it gives uh, not your ring fingers but your middle fingers two buttons, so you could like put the square and a the circle there if you're, like, playing a shooter for, like, reload and melee and shit like that. Or, you know, duck and kneel and all that crap. I don't understand how having a special controller isn't con considered cheating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just saw it and I was laughing. I was like, man, I'm not buying that thing. But people are saying what they, they think that that's... Uh, Something they're going to put on the PS5 controller, just instead of having eight buttons, have ten. Yeah. That's... Probably for, like, fighting, too. I still feel like uh, having special controllers should be counted as cheating. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm a professional gamer, look at me with my fucking $5,000 controller. <laughs> yeah. I hit a single button and it does full combos. Well... I'm not sure if that shit's allowed in, uh, you know, when pretty sure they, they, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're chill with it. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I was just thinking about that because I was looking at, I was thinking about when I've seen, like, uh, those teams doing, like, COD and Battlefield and shit. They all have fucking different headsets. 
Ja. Which Frost and um, uh, Wes were both telling me they both got the brand new uh, or recently new uh, updated gold fucking PlayStation um, uh, headsets. And I guess with that headset app, they work really good. I like my Astros. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very comfortable with mine. The only, the only thing I have against it, and I have this against every headset eventually, and that's that when I'm listening to music, it's not loud enough. But yeah, I need to I fuck with... Uh, fuck with the bass on mine. I'll get back up to the computer and fuck with settings and shit. I just think I'm mostly deaf from listening to too much loud music most of my life. That's what my mom blames being deaf on, too. All them rock <laughs> concerts. Well, it's not the rock concerts, it's the headset. You know? Oh, I yeah, mean, but that, that's I mean, my mom, so. Like, tape, tape <sighs> headsets, man, since I was eight years old, you know? I, oh, yeah. I, I have blown out so many speakers, man. It's not funny. Especially like when when I was like eight years old to like sixteen, seventeen. I was kind. I constantly had this, you know, everything up all the way. My speakers were always blown. Take a gander. The door's busted. Huh? Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. Okay. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh no. What did you do? Oh hell. I'm sorry, Yoka. So, uh, you can't pick up random junk in this. It always throws me off, because I'm like, I should be able to pick up that can, that bottle. I want all of that. <laughs> You mean I can't pick up the random fork on the ground? The fuck is this? Yeah, that was one thing about far, uh, far Fallout and fucking Oblivion Gate or Oblivion or Elder, Elder Scrolls. Scrolls. Which man, I wonder how long it's gonna be until they bring out another one of them after all the fucking ass beating they've been getting this year. I don't even know how much money they've lost. I'm sure they're about to re-release Skyrim again. <laughs> rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. Well, I figured that that new Elder Scrolls will probably come out like two or three years after uh, um, after a new console comes out. Do they got Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. Wonder what they're gonna release it on next then. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking your phone. Uh, probably. Sup, wicked. Skyrim light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What up, Soylent? Uh Okay, what's this? Watching Mandalorian. Oh, that's what's up. I I heard uh that was really good. Rook said fucking uh that was good. Mandalorian? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've watched all seven so far. Oh, I mean, there's some dumb shit about it, but overall, I like it. Is it Baby it's Yoda? Is that the dumb shit? Well, it, Baby Yoda is really fucking cute, but it's just a, such a cop-out. 
You know, yeah. it's like, oh wow, you couldn't really think of anything original. You still Baby had to bring something Yoda. in. Do, but, do, um, do, do, do. <laughs> and I, I have a sneaking feeling they're trying to mix, match it up with uh, the last fucking Jedi and the Emperor, which, God. although supposedly that shit's getting fucking good reviews too. But basically, all it is is it's it's like a, um, one of Clint Eastwood's spaghetti westerns in space. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. They, they even some of the music is like you can tell it's inspir it's inspired by the guy that uh, did the soundtrack for those three movies. Okay, that's what Solo should have been is fucking a western in space. Yeah. Uh, that shit was just stupid, man. They should have fucking man. They should just ripped off the books. I didn't even bother watching it. I heard nothing but bad things. Spaghetti Western man, there's just some funny jokes in filmed it. in you know, Italy. It. Um, what the fuck? Okay, fuck. Um. Well, okay. I should do it. So it says spaghetti western just means filmed in Italy. No, Spain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Italy. My bad. Yeah, but that that's what it was. The director, they, they did it in Italy. And um it uh had um the two guys that are in it are in all of them. Besides Clint. The all other right. two guys are in all of them. Instead of Arizona. and they switch, they switch characters on who's bad, who's good, and shit like that. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across oh, the fuck, star. I guess I had to do. I hate to say this, God, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. Who's ugly? If she were still alive now. It'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. Oh. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Used to love Clint Eastwood movies. Yeah, I'm a fan of Clint Eastwood. No, we need a plan. You may be a capable sort, but so are my friends. I ain't making that mistake twice. I've never had the pleasure of hunting uh. primals, but I hear they're all over <laughs> Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. This bitch is like, I got want you things. to go kill this giant monster inside my old base. I'm like, all right, well... I will just go in there with my guns and we'll shoot it up. Bang, bang. And she's like, no. We need to go get bait and blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> I gotta fucking talk to these robots about getting forms. And if you hit the gold bell, it costs 112 bucks. But the fucker speeds over there. Now, if you hit the other be be uh, other Those bell, the silver one, he, he like kind of jerks when he moves and takes forever. Alright, guess I'm done with this shit town. Oh, shit. I didn't know such shit. Look at, oh, Wicked's gonna love that shit. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. There's all these plants and, you know, like, fake or real trees shit. You can blow them all up. Kind of like the cheering squad. Yo. That was one of the best things I ever found, was blowing up those <laughs> motherfuckers. 
Oh, you mean when I found it and you saw me? I'm pretty sure I showed it to you. Nope. All the way around. On this one, I know. Usually, I would say... I'm not going to argue say, with you. You're yeah, probably well, right. Us usually, I would say, you know, you always find that weird shit, but I know I found that one. Because I was giggling about it. I wasn't laughing. I was fucking straight up giggling. And you were like, what? And I was like... And you're like, holy shit, you could shoot them guys? And then you went on a comic con you went on a mission to shoot everyone you could find. Yeah, that sounds I believe about right. Felix and Pavati <laughs> discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Now the one thing that you found Ooh, out yeah. before me, but I, I that you didn't necessarily show me, but I know you found out before me was you could shoot those lights, the searchlights. Oh yeah. Um, let's see, where am I? Man, fucking robot in my ship, but I can't fuck with it. So I was watching the serial the other night, yeah? Halcyon Helen finally took down the chief of the savages with a guest appearance from none other than the mass marketeer. Oh, no fooling? I'm gonna have to catch that one for myself. I can't believe I got my own bunk. Hey, Cap. Uh, I hate how serious ball damage. A serious what? All damage is. Oh. Uh, yeah. All damage does not play. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. Yeah, that's one thing I do love about Borland. Uh, Jump off whatever the fuck you want. Well, I did find something that you can't do that in. Say there's a fucking elevator that's like way down there. If you, you jump off, you'll dematerialize before you hit it. Oh, uh, yeah. They, like, want you to wait on that elevator, fucking bastards. Welcome back, oh, Captain. shit. How can I be of assistance? Oh, didn't hurt me. The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Say one sales. thing, man, it has a lot if of slot machines in, in your captain's on. quarters. We may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Shit, little boxes that those with more birthdays You can sit and push lives. fucking square forever. Uh. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board-certified jingle their favorite song. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I'll be here. Fuck okay, yeah. Talk to my computer and level up. <laughs>
initiating, initializing <laughs> <deep distancing. laughs> Greetings, customer. Like this right this SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Fuck that. I should switch to the other one. Registering new owner. Captain. <sighs> SAM units live to clean and clean to live. You go, robot guy. Captain? Fix up my shit. Good room. <laughs> I'm, oh my god. All right, it says I got a minus six to my lockpick skill. But uh, I'm pretty sure fucking 55 minus 6 isn't 39, so where the fuck is the rest of my negatives coming from? <laughs> Quit drinking, maybe it won't be so low. Well, I got fucking going through withdrawals, so if I do drugs, it'll actually go up. Battery levels are fully charged. Laughing. Thank you, customer. Warning! Wrapped on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to massive amounts of blood loss service cancellation request processing all sam units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box did you know sam units are capable of equipping regulation grade flamethrower nozzles upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away Got stubborn stains? Leave them for Sam! <laughs> oh, Sam doesn't count as one of the fucking people? I can't take my robot on missions? Is that what you're telling me? You didn't get the upgrade. I did say I can attach a uh, flamethrower nozzle. My Discord is up and running. Come check it out, URL.
Oh no, see I can't take him on mission. <clears throat> Why does that bitch got a stingray in her hand? That's not a weapon. That's not a weapon at all. Yeah, go ask that about uh, that one dude. Steve Irwin? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he disagree. <laughs> Bringing my robot on a mission to go talk to people. I gotta go talk to you later. Go. Um, go. Take care, Swan. That's how I do it. I forgot to travel. I just exited my ship back where I was. <laughs> uh, and these load screens aren't quick either. Oh yeah. At least they're not as bad as fucking um, Metro Exodus, man. God damn. I was sitting there playing it one night, you know, when I first got it. That that game, its load screens are so bad. That and the dialogue in the game are so fucking bad that, it, which it's one of my favorite series. I love those series of that game. But that one annoyed me so much, it took me like two months to beat it. And it's, you know, probably a 12-hour game at best. But, um... Uh, one night I was playing it, Captain, if you're and ready, I you're smoked a cigarette like before this. the loading screen got I'm done. A drink upstairs. That people are drinking so at my ship. Says, Fine, I'll pay you back for all of it with interest. Nice one. You must have had him quaking in their heels. Ooh, I heard some I mean, bang. I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make him feel bad. Uh, pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Mm. Something on your mind? We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like... Oh, fuck, I missed. Maybe not. Oh, shit. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but higher 
Baron Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the hopes colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Okay, anything else that I need to rob before I go? If I had time in several blasts, <coughs> I could explain the details. Oh, hell yeah. But to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Nope.
Oh shit. Oh no. Oh fuck yeah. Phew. Sounds like a fucking wicked plan right there. What's that? My worker's like, yo, I'm going to blast off on this little, uh, little rocket. I'm going to go to another world, find some alien people, tell them, make them believe that I'm a god, and then I'll live like handsome Jack for the rest of my days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sounds like a solid plan to me. I approve, that's for sure. Character's like... Nah, that ain't how that's going to work out. Ah, uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> All right. This thing sucks. Yeah, the guns you just gave me did. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Phew. That was almost two million or two, yeah, two or 20 or however many millions down the drain. Send you a picture of it. I gotta clean up all my fucking pictures. I got a shitload of them. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Made it. I've taken the liberty of having Sam clear up some floor space. We didn't really need that crate of toilet paper, did we? Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? <laughs> oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Oh. 
I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like you wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done in the right order every day. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Because they were hoping their own kid would get the job and get sent back to Edgewater. When folk go away for schooling, they don't get back to where they begun. Not usually. You go straight to your first job, wherever the company's got an opening. Well, it ain't exactly cruel to have a promise of a paying job. And that's all it is. You go where the company needs you. Where your skills do the most good. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. <laughs> There were a whole lot of reading, and not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. As soon as I got permission, I spent all my time in the machine shop. They had all manner of parts, but they didn't want me using them, so I had to sneak them sometimes. I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied up in the rafters. Before I left, I installed a little skylight for myself so I could see the stars. When an engine came in, I'd strip it down and rebuild it. I mostly built for myself. Custom tools. Little mechanical critters to talk to. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. It was easier for everybody. Uh. Down. I doubt any of them remember me now. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and <coughs> a big old hug. Oh, I noticed straight cool. away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ears so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. What's on your mind? Yeah, sure thing. Ask away. Clyde was my first friend, but he was also my mentor. Taught me how to think, how to question, how to <laughs> I figured the board got him in the end. Some guys with black uniforms snatching him off the street in the middle of the night or something. I've been thinking about that. Scylla's about as far away from civilization as I can imagine. Cold, barren rocks and the occasional mining operation. Clyde wasn't exactly a prospector. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Yeah, I was just a lonely orphan kid getting my knuckles dirty. Clyde? I want to say he saw some potential in me. Like as not, he just took pity on me. So he took me in. Gave me a place to live. Gave me something to believe in. That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. 
Klein. I never oh, a yeah, I already ripped them off, huh? Carried on about violent revolutions. Good about that shit. Oh, that's nothing but straight garbage. So, we're just gonna march straight into Byzantium and acquire some rare chemicals right under the board's nose? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Wasn't even the right one. Point is, good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Hate to say it, but the right thing rarely pays well. The board's put a bounty on his head. <laughs> Dude just said he had a bounty. He's like, they just put a five million dollar bounty on me in eighty seven cents. <laughs> the ones at the top, anyway. Of course, a little bit earlier, I was trying to pay a five hundred billion dollar fee with somebody else's credit Nothing card. Being a lackey, think of it as doing a job right. and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Damn, it gets dark early in the winter. Right. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you uh, last long enough to pay me yes, at the Yes, at least it's not fucking Seattle and that else? fucking three o'clock shit. Or Alaska and you just never see the fucking sun. Right. I've taken the fucking watching that dude on Joe Rogan that like lives way up in northern Alaska or he has a cabin way up there where there's like nobody around you know yeah. unless he brings his family with him and he's talking about going and hunting and shit in the winter and it's just like dark <laughs> fucking crazy ass motherfucker but then we started talking about how you can eat every fucking bit of a moose or a, um, oh, I can't remember that other fucking big ass thing. No, but he's talking about like man. eating their brains and their the fucking deep intestines deep. and everything else. It's just like, oh, whoa, God. dude. Some I think something something so fucked up with you. So talking about eating their antlers and shit and boiling them, boiling them down and cracking them open. Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Thank you, customer. All cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence. <coughs> Four minutes. Uh, Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Oh, okay. I see you now. What's that? They got some more zero G, uh, zero gravity fucking jumps on this. You're fine. Favorite. I see. In that case, my favorite is Sam. What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me?
I do not extrapolate data from subtle implications very well. Please elaborate. If you mean, do I know that you're a survivor from the Lost Hope? The answer is yes. I have been keeping a secret as well. But you shall have to discern it yourself. How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. What? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of the shell <laughs> persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. How can I be of assistance? Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you want to get it started early, huh? Issuing sanitation ticket. Oh. It's another VIP, all right. Damn it! Our falls. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. You know how the, um, some of the, uh, oh, fuck. The guys where you knock their helmet off and they yeah. grow bigger. You know how some of them on this one go, I'm coming for you, Jeremy. Well, that's Maya's name. So I'll mess with him when he's fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like, what the fuck is that? I was like, I told him you were a dick. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I fucked up. I'm paying attention. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot to see if they opened up the bank more or not. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Okay, I'm gonna go somewhere else then. Oh shit. Looks like some crazy suicide jumps. Nice. 
they're not really that bad because you got the fucking zero G. Or at least getting over here wasn't bad. We'll see by getting back. Yeah, easy as hell. I like the zero G jumping though. Oh shit, is something new? No, I already have it. There's a proper encampment. Clyde must be inside. God damn it. something oh, let's see I have to go there where do you think you're going damn oh hey nice form hmm. good delivery oh, too you're looking to join captain harlow's crew huh all right go on through let's see got my sights nope. on it Oh, come on. Oh, do I have to do it like that, maybe? Yep. VIP. Oh, this VIP kind of sucks. Oh, but there's another VIP door. Uh, what, what do you want to bet, dude? I'm open like five doors, spend like four hundred thousand fucking dollars, and there'll be nothing but haha, -ha, sucker. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, see, all the other VIP doors I've opened, I've just been like one door, and it'll open up, and there'll be like a blackjack table with a. Uh, uh, hologram fucking robot and then there'll be like the chest maybe two chests with fucking guns in them but this one was like some bullets yep and uh so let's open another one. Oh, uh, there's a couple all right hushing up there were a couple slot machines but one of them was a mimic so i blew them all up he dropped out some guns though Oh no, there's only going to be one more. Okay. Which? I'm going to fuck myself over. Why, from being too much of a dick? No, I'm over here jumping on stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm already where I shouldn't be. I can tell by all the invisible walls. <laughs> Gotta see how far I can make it, right? Yeah. I know you. <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm impressed. I didn't fall through anything. Give it time. I found a lot of fucked up textures. If this is Borderlands, I would have fell through. <laughs> There's a statue of fucking handsome Jack riding butt stallion. Nice. <laughs> One of him holding a submachine gun, and with his other hand, he's pointing, pointing at himself. One of them contemplating life. Another one with him holding up the vault key. And then another one with his hands on his hips. So many invisible walls. Okay, I'm sending you a picture of the last door that I opened. Been ages since we had it all. No freighters, no jobs, no contracts in weeks. We're standing around kicking a rock.
Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. You kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He kicks things what need kicking. And he looks the other way when he starts talking anti-corporate. It's a good arrangement. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I imagine he has. I was a mentor to the boy during his formative years. You might say I have an elder brotherly interest in his development. Oh, it would have been nice to know that sometime in the last, uh, hang on, doing some math? Half a decade? I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my issue. Okay. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Ah. I understand that Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal <laughs> with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Okay. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything, and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I have to deal with? Let's hear it. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well-armed and located on defensible terrain. 
If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Something on your mind? Let's hear it. I was working on this plan for years, saving every bit I could, drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. God damn it. Oh, fuck sure, give me gold. Give me some new gold. The Festus controlled <laughs> mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned, anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. Ooh. Mm. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Adjusting before you call. You're anticipating it. You. Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it, embrace it, work with it. You're in control of your part body, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life, and you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten cell tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. Just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay, we'll try again later. You'll get it, I promise.
I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Hey, Cap. Destination reached. Scylla. Particles detected. Vacuum them up. Oh, what? Oh, I almost killed myself. Fuck me. All damage does not play. <laughs> Game got me good, man. Like, yeah, oh, you think you're jumping on that? Pfft. I fall in three stories. <laughs> mm. Oh, looks like some other shit I gotta go jump on. Oh shit, oh well, fuck it.
As soon as battle starts, my one companion just instantly dies. Is an organic Sounds like me when I'm running flack on like fucking uh, Mayhem 3 or 4. Wait. Looks like most of these fuckers are fucking melee too, so I don't understand. Damn, why she fucking had to go down instantly. Yeah. Like... Foolish analysis. Foolish. Hmm. I was still unloading my first clip, which isn't a big clip, only 24 bullets. Jesus fucking like. Mode. My companions revive when I heal now, so at least there's that. Oh. <sighs> I just found a fucking echo tape that's the same exact same one as the one I just found before. Oh no, no! Oh wow. I don't know how I just did that. Oh, oh, I wouldn't have been dead anyway. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I thought I was falling off the edge and I kept kept jumping again and I was I was like hitting this ledge, but then I looked down below me and there was a whole another level that I could have fell on, so I was safe. How much would that cost me? Yeah, would have been two and a half million. they run into so, you know how in the Elder Scroll games you can just like stand on top of rocks and creatures will try to hit you even though you're nowhere fucking close to them yeah I, I was trying that on here and that enemy just ran away <laughs> like good AI <laughs> it was like Fuck it out of here. We're going around the corner, bud. Good luck. There was some game I was playing that I was thinking I could do that shit. And uh, the AI actually climbed up something and then jumped onto the you know, structure that I was on, whatever it was. I can't remember what game it was. I was they fucked me up, dude. I was like, damn, them motherfuckers are problem solving. Alright. This is a start of Skynet. This is how it starts! <laughs> uh oh. 16, huh? Ah, uh, should I hit or should I stay? I'm gonna hit. Fuck it. Some oh! No! No! Give me one of the grenades! Got my hand off the controller there. Mining corporation. Other functions include dialogue. Limited, current, active commands. 
Excavation. Look good, that tastes that like shit. Off. This unit is removing rock matter in search of oh, minerals, metals, yeah. and other forms of matter designated valuable. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Thank you. Ooh, for this your is a good time. Try out a sniper rifle. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Always. Greetings, Junior Excavator. Oh! If I may, a sniper rifle that's actually good in this game. What? Dude, this sniper rifle got tracking bullets. Oh, nice. I fucking, I, I put, I put the fucking uh, dot next to him, and when they keep walking, the bullets just curve over to him. And it's not like I don't have to, it's not like the assault rifles where you gotta shoot something to get them locked on either. Oh, and it's powerful as fuck, dude. I lost my allies. Yeah, well, you know. Way you act, you really expecting somebody to stick around with you? Yeah, my companions fucking love me. Even while they watch you just mindlessly murder anyone that says anything to you? Even when I Hi, say fucked up crack. things to their friends, they're just like, oh, don't mind him. He grows on you. <laughs> like. <laughs> Where did my companions go? I hear my companion fucking talking shit. He sounds like he's close, but I don't see him nowhere.
You didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. Shut up now, and you might get out of this alive. Can we hurry this up? Hmm? I want that ship gutted before the primals find us. Get us! Take him down! Multiple fractures, lacerations, and untreated burns detected. Signs indicative of <laughs> violent Caution! Infestation encroaching! My companions being MIA just fucked up with the uh, AI. I ran behind this dude and he just stood there and let me bash him in the back of the head. <laughs> he says, as promised. And Freddy never breaks a promise. Unless he has I to. I didn't have to. <laughs> You've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Well, I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Then, to the groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late, then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. Those fees will bankrupt you. Thank you for what? I had this all squared away until you showed up and riled the pirates. And now, I'll be off. Good day, and do give my chilliest regards to Wanda. You saved me the cup. Hope that's the right place. Must have ammunition. Thanks, pal. Carry on. Scanning for C two five four seven grade rated contaminants. Thank you, customer. Sam, merciless on germs. Muting 
volume now. Ah. <sighs> uh. Maybe the, the big robot guy ain't the best we're sneaking around with. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, uh, is he an anti sneaker? I started fucking crouch walking, and he's like, Muting sound now! <laughs> and he's still just fucking. Tanks around, he doesn't even like crouch. Yo, my robot fucking murks the shit out of shit, though. <laughs> Took out the enemy robot like nothing. Take reading real quick. <laughs> Five billion and eighty seven cents. I love that. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? <sighs> Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. It's an old cave system we tried to turn into an encampment. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. I did bad things to him. Fucking right we are. Ooh, he dropped the gold. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> yeah. 
Damn it, Rook. What? Fucking uh, past seven o'clock. I head out already. Oh, past seven. I know you were leaving at seven. Yeah. I didn't Is tell you time. I said in two hours. Fuck. It ain't that far off after seven. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't like going over to his house fucking after seven. I feel like seven cut off point good for his house. Especially since oh, yeah. I, I don't call ahead of time. I just show up. <laughs> That's funny. Even though you could sit here and do that right now. Yeah, probably, but not how I roll. I don't use phone. Well, you know you I don't believe in them. <laughs> I went over to his house the other day, and uh, his wife let me in, and then it's like, dude ain't coming home till 8. And I was like, why don't you say that when you answer the door and say, let me in? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you later. I'm not going to chill with you for two hours. Like, I need to break <laughs> it to you. That was fucking awesome. I am a dirty, autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? Tell me you've seen worse. Ah! Um, we'll continue this later. Yo! So, I just walked in on my fucking robot dude, being in my yeah. fucking ship AI, and... And they're banging? Yeah, that was highly implied. <laughs> <laughs> Something busted, Captain? She's like, oh yeah, I haven't had my internals cleaned in ages. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, ah, oh, fuck, we'll, we'll continue this later. <laughs> Destination reached. The ground break. Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. <laughs> Customer, Sam. I just got... I'm pretty sure this is a new fucking... Uh, unit you'll ever need. A new gold. It's called Shredded Nukem. Welcome and back, then in the red text it says Captain Name Dropper. May luck be with you. Yeah, I haven't heard about that course, one yet. As I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. I should quit it. Unfortunately, I don't have any enemies around me right now. Damn, I missed fucking one in the back. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. 
I like how I'm like, oh, I'm late. I need to fucking leave. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go finish <laughs> this mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say something, but I just figured, oh well. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Keep or selling a CCN seventy six milk papa bar with caramel and pea free nuts in it. It's time for a KYO. Oh, I'm probably like, you mind trying to have a moment here? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. You're telling me you're on a first-name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Yeah, the promenade doesn't feel like I'm walking the surface of Tartarus. So that was you, huh? Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. <laughs> Precious Little, he and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. <laughs> he came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Appreciate it. No offense, meant. Just been a long day, is all. <sighs> all right. Um... Oh, damn. Rocket launcher is kind of cool. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Good. 
You're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. This thing's fucking badass. Yeah? Yeah, dude. Okay, so you shoot it out, and it goes up, and it comes down kind of like, um, well, kind of like a bomb. And then it nukes the whole place, dude, and everything on it dies. I mean, it's a big-ass fucking splash, man. But, and it gives that fucking nuke sound, too, which just makes it funnier. Yeah. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. All right, I'm gonna call it quits. Right, well. I need to get the fuck off here. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone stopped by. Um, think that's life for the bits. Catch y'all in the next one. Much love, whoop whoop.